You ever look at those planes up there? They have contrails behind them. Maybe all those planes are the contrails. Maybe they're actually spraying chemicals into the atmosphere right now, and Uncle Sam isn't telling us. Seems extremely unlikely. The that fact the United is the government... States is not telling something to its citizens? That seems extremely likely to me. Read the newspaper. Mm -hmm. uh, and, of course, there are a lot of problems with what they're proposing. It, it turns out plants need uh, sun, sunlight. Yes. Have you gotten some, some grief for suggesting this? Sure. I mean, this is like writing a book as the case for leprosy. Well, first of all, let me ask you this question, because there, there, there's a rumor, I don't know if this is true or not, that some scientists are trying to figure out a way to block the sun <laughs> to try to, to slow yeah. down global warming. We'll start this. In practice, only a country. A okay. Big country. What about a man in like a hollowed out volcano? <laughs> with henchmen who occasionally shakes his fist at the sky and says, they said I was a fool at Harvard. Who's the fool now? It's all things considered from NPR West. I'm Arun Roth. If scientists get the calculations wrong, it could be catastrophic for life on Earth. Or what if the technology got into the wrong hands? Couldn't someone shoot poison into the atmosphere? Well, people are terrified about talking about this because uh -huh. they're scared that it will prevent us cutting emissions. Right, and also that it's sulfuric acid. <laughs> it is. You're bearing the lead. Is there any possible way this could come back to bite us in the ass? Uh, you know, you put a, another kind of pollution, sulfur dioxide, up to orbit the cover the atmosphere, the sky won't be really blue in the way it is now anymore. Blanketing the earth in sulfuric acid, because I'm all for it. This is the all chocolate dinner. I still get to have my CO2, and I just need to spray sulfuric acid. Right? All over the earth. Right? But we put 50 million tons of sulfuric acid in the air now as pollution, and it kills a million people a year worldwide. Okay, and that's and so good or bad? It's terrible. <laughs> but it'll be better if we put more in. So if it kills a million people, and we're only bad. doing out 1% more, we're just killing 10,000 more people. You can do math. So killing people is not the objective here. <laughs> killing people, not the objective. objective I just objective wanted to be clear. I just wanted to be clear. Because some very mainstream scientists are saying that the climate change situation is so bad that saving life as we know it might require something radical, like shooting chemicals into the stratosphere to reflect sunlight. This is the kind of stuff I wake up sweating about, exactly. Well, it's your goddamn idea. <laughs> No, it actually turns out to be an old idea. This really? was known since President Johnson. And the scientific community mostly decided not to talk about it. It, it, it. What happens to the sulfuric acid after it's sprayed? Does it just stay up there? No, it rains down. Okay. But, it, but as I said, <laughs> it rains down. Okay, okay. It's a tiny addition. Okay. And you put, you put say, 20,000 tons of sulfuric acid uh -huh. into the stratosphere every year. Uh -huh. And each year you have to put a little more. Mm -hmm. And this doesn't, in the long run, mean that you can forget about cutting emissions. We will need to rein in No, emissions. we'll get to it eventually. Yeah. But, it does. but in the meantime, we're shrouding the earth in sulfuric acid. So it is that you could actually spray sulfuric acid in the stratosphere, 20 kilometers over our head, and use that to stop the planet warming up. And a okay, kind wait, of you, ugly you, tech fix. You can, you can spray something into the atmosphere to yes. change... Okay, spray okay. Spray pollution into the atmosphere to stop it warming. So in the end, pollution saves them all. <laughs> we owe pollution. We owe acid rain an apology is what you're saying. It would be a totally imperfect technical fix. Okay. It would have risks. It wouldn't get us out of the long-run need to stop polluting. But it might actually save people and be useful. The sky won't be really blue in the way it is now anymore.